Hello, hello. Let's talk the truth about carbohydrates today. Over the last few years, carbohydrates seem to have become uh, the biggest enemy when it comes to weight loss and the low carbohydrate diet seem to have gained a lot of popularity, including keto diet. Now today I'm going to be talking um, all about carbohydrates. How does it help you to lose weight or how it doesn't help you to lose weight? Yeah. Now when we talk about carbohydrate, um, first let's look at carbohydrate. There have been, um, you know, communities, there have been people who've been consuming a lot of carbohydrate traditionally and haven't been, you know, obese per se. It's only post 1970s that we're seeing a rise in obesity. Now, there are communities um, which have been consuming a lot of rice, a lot of potatoes, but obesity wasn't really a cause of concern. So then what happened? What changed? Let's talk about all of that, which will help you to understand and use the right sort of carbohydrate in your diet. Now, when we talk about carbohydrate, I divide them in four categories. Number one, refined carbohydrates. Number two, unrefined starchy carbohydrate. Number three, unrefined fibrous carbohydrates. And number four is fruits. Fruits is also um, a category of carbohydrates. Now, let's talk about refined carbs. As the name suggests, it is refined, it is processed, which means it is not something that is in its natural form. For example, an all-purpose uh, all refined flour. That's not how, um, you know, it grows. We don't see the tree of flowers. We actually see, um, you know, the, the crops and the trees of wheat. So, to be able to make this all-purpose refined flour they remove the fiber from it they remove protein from it they remove fat from it and then they give you a very very um, nice ground dust for using um, to make your uh, you know baking baked products to make your refined products which means it is basically um, you know going to go into your system raise your blood sugar level and bring it back crashing in an hour or hour and a half which over a period of time can also cause insulin resistance so now that's on um, you know refined carbohydrates number two in that same category is also refined sugar now sugar is also of various kinds which we will talk uh, you know a little later but when we you, when you look at refined sugar which is basically uh, now when you look at carbohydrates okay let's talk about this when you look at carbohydrates carbohydrates are chain of glucose however when you look at refined sugar it is one molecule of sugar and one molecule of fructose now this is where the problem arises because fructose is something which directly goes to your liver and gets processed there and at times gets converted to fat as well now the usage of refined sugar table sugar is extremely high because it is very very easy for food industry uh, and food companies to make things palatable, to make things um, very tasty at a very, very cheap cost and thereby extreme usage of refined sugar. And that's why you must be mindful uh, of sugar, things like, um, you know, of course, the table sugar, refined sugar, um, high fructose corn syrup, corn sugar so sugar comes in various names because they would like to hide it and thereby we need to be extremely careful while we're choosing our product so that's the refined sugar number three is the refined grain now not as bad as the other refined uh, carbs that we spoke uh, you know in the beginning but these are um, you know for example uh, polished rice instant oatmeal cornstarch pareto starch now this is also refined and you should be wise not to use it on daily basis because again one um, it is not in its natural form two it's going to raise your blood sugar level and going to bring it crashing down and then make you feel hungry 
so so you need to be careful now number 2 is your unrefined uh, starchy carbohydrate now these are the things which grow under the ground so for example um, your roots and tubers your all roots vegetables like your potatoes sweet potatoes turnips tapioca these are starchy vegetable um, which are good and not so good at the same time um, because it is pure starch so you should be consuming it it is low in glycemic index but it is pure starch so you should be using it in moderation mind you you should be using it in moderation um, they are good to the extent that you use it wisely right um, the next one which is unrefined fibrous uh, carbohydrates are the ones that must be a part of your diet whether you want to lose weight or whether you want to become healthy now these are all your leafy vegetables um your other kind of vegetables which have which are full of fibers which which keep you full um which never ever causes a blood sugar spike um, they release blood sugar very slowly they give you the bulk so that you are full for a longer period of time along with that they give you your vitamins minerals and antioxidants so that is something that you should really load yourself up with when we're talking about health and weight loss both the next category is fruit now fruit is something which has natural sugar of course it is much much better um, when you compare it to the refined sugar because one the fruit comes um with other nutrients like your uh, fiber um, you know your vitamins your minerals however if you keep thinking that fruit is going to help you lose weight and if you overdo it again it has fructose and that's a sort of sugar so if you overdo it it can be a problematic uh, thing but having said this how much of fruit can you anyways eat so in a day if you eat about 2 to 3 seasonal fruits you are absolutely in a safe ground you can continue to be healthy you can continue to lose weight right now let's go back to all these four carbs that we spoke about the refined carbs are a complete no no yeah it should be it should be just taken in an emergency kind of a uh, scenario when you don't have access to food or when it's a very very special occasion and you want to celebrate by uh, you know adding a sinful cake or something is when you should be looking at this refined carb so if i were to give it um, a traffic light signal then this refined carbs will definitely be a red color uh number 2 your unrefined starchy carbs i would say they're amber they're your orange light you should use them wisely uh fruit would also fall in this category um you know in the light of amber and you should use it wisely don't overdo it also because there are fruits which are very very high in fructose which are very very high in sugar so you need to choose fruits which are rich in fiber so for example an apple um, an orange a pear a guava these are the fruits that you can have um, compared to let's say even berries berries are are very good if you're talking about health if you're talking about weight loss um, but then there are fruits let's say um, like uh, grapes like uh, sapota um mango which have direct glucose so you need to be wise when it comes to those fruits and thereby i would like to give it amber color i would like to put it in the category of orange signal light so you need to be wise the next one which is unrefined fibrous carbs definitely go ahead and eat them to your heart's content they for sure fall under the green category um you can consume them in all your meals as much as you want because they're going to fill you up you cannot overdo them uh and you would you should just eat them in the right quantity i hope this really helps if you still have more questions about carbohydrate how does it really work how is the processing put them in the comment section and if you really like the content do like them and share it with your friends and family We'll talk again. Take care. Bye bye.